I think I just watched uh, a lot of stand-up since I was like, a little kid. Uh, I don't know if I should look at you or the camera. I also look at you, it's easier. I, uh, I was, he watched a lot of stand-up as a little kid because I just come home and watch Comedy Central because my brother watched it a lot and like my mom didn't know English, so I got away with it. And so I think that's what probably started it, you know? Um, yeah, and I guess this like I, one of my favorite comics is like Louis C.K., so I think he really got me into it when I was older. So the first time I technically ever did stand-up, it was for my class. We were, uh, and my teacher was doing picture day, and so while we were just waiting for him to do his job, I asked him could I do stand-up for the class, and he said sure, and I bombed. Uh, but one kid, a friend, a good friend of mine, believed in me. He, 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 well, he was high on you know uh, marijuana, so that's why he laughed a lot. Then so it inspired me to do it again at a little, uh, little like. Uh, restaurant and so I did it again there I bombed again but I still was like no I still really love stand comedy uh, so I'm gonna keep doing it until I do good and it took a while but um, I stuck with it and it's still really fun I always remember that I laughed the hardest watching Delirious by Eddie Murphy um, I guess Maria Bamford's latest album um, I forget what the name of it is I think it's special 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 that one's really good. Um, Lucy K's whole discography, um, and uh, kind of blank. And, and I guess one album from uh, Stuart Lee over in England. I can't remember the name of it, but he's really good. Obviously, like yeah, Lucy K's Louis Marin. Um, old school Seinfeld, but I, I've been getting really more into um, just shows where this like we follow just like one protagonist. You know, Lady Dynamite's good as well. Uh, a Master of None. I really like to follow, even if it's not really the the, the the comedian's real life. Just like I like following one character instead of like a series of characters nowadays. And I guess films, um, comedy films. I like really old Woody Allen movies, but then I also am a big fan of newer, um, like Seth Rogen comedies, and uh, I guess a little bit of Monty Python. I haven't seen a lot, um, and I can't think of any other older. And then maybe a little bit of uh, Blazing Saddles. That that whole group I've seen a little bit of that. Yeah, like really old Mad TV. Um, uh, Mr. Show with uh, Bob Odenkirk and David Cross. I'm trying to think what other sketch groups that I like. Oh, like the newer like internet ones, like College Humor is great for me. Chappelle Show, obviously, and that's all I can really think of right now. Right now, it's a tie in my head between Hannibal Burris and Doug Stanhope. Obviously, Lucy can't get roasted by uh, Bill Burr. Uh, I feel like Miriam Bamford would make a really weird roast. I'd love to hear her roast me. Um, let's see, two other ones. Uh, maybe like a really... Um, can it be a talk show host? Does that count? Yeah, I think Conan O'Brien, he does a very dry wit that I love. And um, someone crazy like Joey Coco Diaz. That'd be great as well. Well, I'm a film major, so I really, um, a goal, big goal of mine is to write comedy films, like feature films. I do improvs, so that's fun. But, um, I guess, like, one of the ones that I could really see myself in, other than stand-up, is writing for sitcoms. Like, I, I just love the format, and I love how short it is, and I like the, I really, because like, you could really focus more on character and character development. Hopefully by that time I'm making some money for it. Um, hopefully touring. Um, either like just do a little tour of just me, or like I'm following somebody who's already like more established, or potentially like uh, like a small like uh, being in the writers' room of a sitcom. That'd be nice. But I'm guessing just uh, just like the lower level of just making money and moving around the country, but not really well known yet. Like Michael Manzar on Facebook, um, 
think my Twitter is um, at Dirty Mike Zero Zero. Yeah. That like comedy can be like both like highbrow and lowbrow. You know, like it could be very like silly and surreal, or it could be very highbrow, like intellectual or against the grain. But still, at the end of the day, it's still humor. You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe what he's saying is very thoughtful. But at the end of the day, like the point is like to laugh and like I well, because like I guess comedy could have like really imp important like social implications but at the end of the day it's it's we should like view it as it what it is at the end of the day it's comedy it's jokes and it's like it's something it's an art form that we can just relax and just enjoy yeah my name is Michael Almanzar and you can find my interview on akdpi.com